All right, collectors, let's get started. I've been doing tarot card readings all day. They won't load. I call it a tarot salon. They won't load in the hotel. It's so slow. So let's look at he. I'm channeling the male, but you can use the sexual orientation you want. A lot of people ain't going to be drawn to this. This really dropped on my spirit. Um, he or she, he thought you was fake. So he overlooked you, found out you were the real deal, and it's too late. Okay. Or, or she. Um, maybe this man or woman overlooked you. Maybe they rejected you. Maybe they thought you were trying to impress them. Maybe in the venue um, that you met this person at and you were talking. Um, you know you know how some people think you're trying to impress them. Or maybe you met this person online. They really didn't get to meet you. And then when they did meet you, maybe you didn't look the way they thought. Or maybe they didn't meet you and they just was wondering. Or maybe they have friends or family going, these people are too good to be true. That's why I don't explain myself to, to nobody. I, I can't do it. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. Yeah, believe what you want to believe. Do what you want to do. And I feel like this man or woman who judged you so harshly, they they not, they not really who they say they are. Because this is, has dropped on my spirit. I'm always getting topics, hot topics. Um, and it's what the ancients want me to deal with. But I don't know who this man or woman that you liked. Uh, but they definitely overlooked you. If you had a relationship with them, they could have not really been focused on you. Or this could have been a crush. And um, they just didn't think you were the real deal. They, they left around and found out you were the real deal. And now it's too late. Good for you, collective. Let's kick these real quick. These aren't going to be long. I broke my glasses like I told everybody else. They're really broke now. Waiting for my other ones. But if this, if it gets bad, I'll just go get my... Walmart glasses out, out of my purse and it, they're they're hard they're hard on my eyes because they're not prescription hard on your eyes I feel like this person didn't have a clear view of who you was all right so let's get started yeah y'all can laugh only Terry um let me see what does it says so I'm kind of using one he thought he thought you was fake so he or she overlooked you and they found out you were the real deal and it's too late what do you want these collective people to know why did this person think that they, they were fake six of swords I think because I think because this man or woman is used to people not being a real deal. You see how they, I, you know, I think they might have been looking for um, a piece in the calm, in, in in the storm. This man or woman could be going through a lot of different things, and then every time they meet somebody, it doesn't pan out because they could be superficial, they could be greedy, they could be about height, money, um, world um, pleasures. Um, they could be used to that confrontational type stuff. And then when they met you, you were this, you were just like a breath of fresh air as a man or woman. And you were just really calm and it was coming out of the storm. And didn't I say online dating, long distance or something like that? I think that, I think he started with a false start with this man or woman. And now their intuition told me they should have moved towards you, but you see somebody else is on a boat. So I feel like these men and women, um, if you're drawn to this power collective, I feel like they had a lot of outside influences, outside influences. And you know, since I've been in Charlotte, my energy has, it has, it's so different from Atlanta. Um, and I'm not from Atlanta, I'm, you know, from Pennsylvania, but I've been a, 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 a lot of places and I was raised in California. I have never felt so much energy of grown ass people, seriously, and I'm not judging them, have influences of their friends and family and stuff. I am so used to that energy of a woman and a man is individual. you 18, you do your own thing. You don't have those type of influences. And I feel a lot of energy and it's, it seems like it's attached to me where if you're meeting men and women, they have their friends and family have a lot to say. And I'm just, I'm just not used to that. Like, you know, you just used to talking to men and women who are grown, who do their own thing. Like, if you don't have to like her, <laughs> you don't got to like him. You don't got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown, right? But I feel a lot of that energy and I'm, I, I would think a lot of external um, people might have played a role in this. Maybe they have those type of friends. They care about how the person look or their pockets or they don't fit in our clique or our squad. You get what I'm saying? So I, I'm feeling that because look at this boat. And I feel like it was really dark. And I feel like even this person was feeling really good in the clouds and feeling, um, you know, you know, really good about you and uplifting and encouraging. I just think that their friends played more of a, a part, you know, of a demise. So what is this? It says um, he or she thought you were fake. So he overlooked you and found out you were the real deal. But now it's too late. It's too late. Let's see anything else. Help me get out of self. Seven of Swords. Yeah, 
See, I think maybe this man and woman, woman came to you on a different premise. Maybe they were just wanting friends with benefits. They could have been deception. They could have had a lot of illusions. They could have not been true blue. You ever talk to people and you know they, they're telling you about, about them. You're telling about um, them. You know what I'm saying? But because they're so used to being around low vibrational people, we was just having this conversation. You can't tell them that there's people who actually make, I'm just, and, and I'm giving an example, but it's actually a, a true example, 10 grand a month. And they go, nah, nah, yes, there's actually people who are high vibration. There's actually people who take trips. There's actually families that get along. There's actually healthy relationships. There's actually people who are incarcerated, get out and change their life around. There's actually people who are addicts and drug addicts and, you know, alcoholics. They change their life around. There's actually people who get ill. And this is this type of man or woman. I feel like when they met you, they're so used to seeing the gloom and the doom and the dark side of people. And they present that pr pretty picture. And then when they open it, it's infested with you know snakes and worms and alligators and gossip and that, that cocoon has not actually became that butterfly but then when they met you so they go so then when they met you they're not they weren't used to high vibrational men and women right so they thought that they could do this trickery this being cunning and sly um type stuff because they thought that's who you were right let me see what time it is i don't want this to be real long um, he thought you were fake, so he overlooked you, and they found, I'm going to say he, I'm heterosexual, you have to use, you know, your own gender, and, um, he or she overlooked you, and they found that you were the real deal. Anything else you want? No? no. Yeah. Yeah. And this person was very guarded. Anything else you want them to know? Two of Pentacles, this person thought that they could play you, they could juggle you. Yeah, and that's what they were used to doing. They're used to juggling and playing different people, right? Some of y'all had a little bit of money. Maybe they thought they could get something um, out of you. Maybe they were opportunists. Maybe they thought they could use you. Maybe they thought that you could elevate them. Or maybe they had, you know, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, side pieces. See, this man or woman came with you a, a different approach because they thought you was basic. He or she thought you were fake, and they thought you were fake, and they overlooked you, and then they found out you were the real deal, and it's too late. Anything else? Anxious, because I'm real tired of this man or woman right now. Their energy is so super foul. Oh, shit. Nine of Swords. Now we can talk about what, because now they feel bad. Now, see, look at her. She's thinking like, did I make the wrong decision? Yeah, obviously they did. They made the wrong decision because they came with all these swords and deception and illusions. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and it's probably keeping them up all night, right? And they're thinking, and they're thinking. I feel like they might feel like they were very critical on you. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a regret card, but it's the nine of swords. Um, yeah, and this type of people don't like to be lo lonely. They can have a lot of friends. You see, this is a tribe. These are Africans. Um, um, cars, Afrocentric um, cars, but then she has a lot of swords, but then she's also isolated. So that lets me know when this man or woman gets off to their cell, they think about what did I do to this man or woman? Did they deserve that, right? Because I feel like they came with the wrong um, motivation and I feel like the people, the only, it's only going to be a few people who were drawn to this. You came with the right motivation and then they realize um, what they've done. They thought you were fake, but here you were real. She's like, oh my you got the car reader and she grabbing her mouth. Oh my, what did I do? They play themselves. They play themselves. Because it, it says it's too late. Anything else you want them to know before I pull my other deck? Ace of Wands. Well, they know that you move forward, but I think that they wanted sex, lust, desire. Um, and I feel like that's how they seen you, but they also know that you're an action person and you're moving forward and you're not really, um, thinking about this. I do feel like this man or woman came with different motivations, whether you met him online, whether it's a person that you've had, you know, a substantial time to have build a relationship with, they weren't really invested. This is like nothing that's in with character or harmony or peace or balance. This is all a lot of con um, um, chaos and confusion and drama and lies and deception and trying to play games, right? Yeah. Anything else? I could be wrong. You're going to let me know. Y'all not going to let me know that. Ten of cups. Because at the end of the day, they found out that you were this perfect package. Look at that. Harmony, peace. Um, friends and family would have liked you. I wouldn't be surprised if friends and family are liking you or warming up to you. Some of y'all never even met them. Celebratory. They just realized that you could have gave them what they really wanted, but they didn't see you like that until after. And I feel like it's too late. I, you, you guys have free will and do what you want. I'm just doing a reading. Yeah. Two of swords because they thought y'all was so different. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? They thought you they thought you were so different. And so, and through the differences, you know, maybe y'all have different beliefs, um, different views of life, um, maybe you look different. You could have you could have different be of of, of different races. This is the two of swords. Um, somebody could have thought that they were better or more inferior. Um, the sword. Maybe y'all communication style and your love languages just, just they they just was um you know opposite. They wouldn't they didn't match. So maybe they felt like you know it was gonna be too much work. Um, this person could be in between, um, you know, third parties or or in between decisions and didn't know what direction they wanted to go. They could have had somebody else. But the good news is they could be transitioning out of a out of their past, and now they're transitioning to a better individual, and now they can see you better. They're working on their own personal um, transition. So you would have to be patient if you still want this person and move slow, or maybe they fuck. Like they have to move slow with you because now they're they're doing this transformation, right? This person changed a lot. I don't know who y'all asking about. Yeah, because now this man knew that he or she was a fool. Now they want to um um now they want to take a leap of faith towards you. Yeah, because they could have been felt on love. They could somebody could be a comedian, they could joke a lot, or they could mask, wear a lot of masks and stuff like that. But they gotta they had to go out on the journey to find out what real and fake is. Cause maybe they don't even know the meaning. Maybe they were real and fake to themselves. You know how people put on their own um put on their own bullshit and put on these, um, you know, this fake stuff. And then they can't tell of the real person from the, the fake person. And I'm going, I just want you to be you. Who did I meet? I need you to be you. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they come with all this attitude and temperamental and being judgmental and being cruel and analytical. Um, and you know, and they overlook you. And then when they get, a, get, when they start elevating, transitioning from the past, then they start realizing that I overlooked a person who was a blessing, who was a gift who was a miracle, who was encouraging, who was supportive to me. You know, the Ten of Cups, and it was love there. The whole the, the whole package. Let me give you these and read them out. Oh, my glasses. Thank you. Please don't break no more. Um, he or she thought you was fake, and he, or he or she overlooked you, um, but they found out you were the real deal. Yeah, this is, they found out you was the real deal. Uh, this is not going to upload neither. Uh, let's see what you want the collective to know. So that if that's what you want needed to know. Yeah, see they judged you harshly. Oh, this is judgment. They they were so cruel, y'all. I'm sorry. I feel bad for people who chose this collective. This man or woman didn't know your worth, didn't know your value. They based it on things of their past. They probably had some trauma, some issues. They they needed some awakening. You know what I mean? There's some issues and stuff that they needed to work on and they just really operated out of that. And this man or woman was very, very cruel, right? You know what I mean? And I feel like y'all gave them the benefit of the doubt, but they only wanted to see it their way. This is a judgment. Yeah. Anything else? But they're being judged now. They're being judged. Anything else? Yeah, I feel like this person was very, very judgmental, very cruel, very self-righteous. Yes. And you had to put up boundaries, right? And now this shit is playing in their heads. Now, now, now they don't know what to do. They want to, they, they have people, um, have so much to say, you know what I'm saying? But you bring them so much joy and enlightenment, but then they have their friends and family. I told you there's a lot of people. You see all these people, there's people, see this man and woman has, has done what, what they should have set, set 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 boundaries. Maybe they're setting boundaries not um, setting boundaries now. Don't cross the line. Get the fuck out of my business. I'm grown. I do what I want to do. If I want to go with somebody that's three feet tall or ten feet tall or somebody's white, black, Mexican, purple, green, somebody's the opposite of me. I can do what the hell I want. I'm grown. And I don't think that grown people have to explain themselves. But a lot of these people could be very, very immature because they could have that cook mentality, that squat mentality. A lot of people don't know how to leave that and move on and elevate they stay there right and um and i feel like their friends and family had a lot to say and then they found out she was the real deal and i think time they found out is when you cut them off because it's a little too late too late now it's too late you judge me harshly and the queen of swords has been through so much she's not going to allow anybody to do that to her and what's so nice about the queen of swords is that maybe when you're around this man or woman because it's queen of swords she doesn't she's not overly affectionate in front of people right but behind closed doors she is a joy and she's a delight that's what the, the car said she's very loyal and she's very fun but if you if, but maybe this man or woman you know hurt you and so they can't get to see that side of you because they prejudged you but now they see you know it's at 14 minutes yeah, this is crazy 
these cards been off the chain today. Anything else you want the collective to know? So that's basically it, is, is, is that they missed out on a good person. Listening to other people. That's what I think this whole thing is about. Listening to other people. Trying to please other Look at that. And end it like that. Now they feel like you're that perfect match. This is the four of wands. Some of y'all, this could be a crush and they want to get to know you better. This could be your ex-husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Or you could be in a relationship with them now. Now they want to invest in they, their husband, their wife, their boyfriend, or girlfriend. This could be long distance. They regret um doing doing and saying what they did um this could be any this could be any anything i don't really see a lot of side pieces in this but it could be a side piece but whatever it is because a side piece gets the opportunity to be with these men and women they don't get that full um relationship but they do get that time investment that's why i don't feel like that but i do feel like if it's a boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife um and you've been trying to get your your mate and your partner to invest you know, I feel like they kind of be nonchalant and take you for granted and they overlook you. You know what I mean? Or they just treat you the way that they feel like they could treat you. And I feel a lot of crushing here, too. If you were crushing on a woman and a man and they overlooked you um, or and long distance, I feel long distance dating. And I could be wrong. I hate to get myself blocked in, but I'm hearing this. Um, you know what I mean? I feel like they found out that you were the real deal. You were highly intelligent, uh, emotionally balanced, stability, leaders, were the leader, where they thought that they were that. You, they found out that you were too. If they were creative, you were creative. If they was a doctor, they might find out you was a doctor. If you were caring, they found out you were caring. If they're illuminating, optimistic, I'm just using examples like, and even if you guys are opposite, um, so say um, he or she could do math, but they could do English. You get what I'm saying? So y'all y'all bounce back off of each other. You compliment each other. And this is what this person is um, realizing. Even if you're opposite and you don't even run in the same, um, you know, area code or, you know, you live in the same place or you do the same things. They just realize the value and they realize it after. And so this is this is um, confirming that you are the real deal. I think you already knew that, though. So you already knew how this goes. And I think a lot of people... Um, played in this man or woman's ear that they thought you were fake so they overlooked you and found out that you were the real deal and that's it i don't want to deal with this man or woman no more look at that almost the, and now they look at that look at this is the this is the um a, a marriage celebration card you know a festival let's get together and let everybody know and this is a i love you long term and it's mutual and we love each other and and harmony and and balance and peace and gotta get my glasses and you know and you're somebody that i want to be with um i understand that you had to set up boundaries um yeah it looks like this person wants to have a <coughs> excuse me y'all a conversation with you because they wanted now they wanted back balance and you know y'all got mutual respect for each other <laughs> about to end this um you know they they realize that you complete them you know what i'm saying that you have achieved a lot you make them feel fulfilled they have a sense of belonging with you a sense of wholeness a sense of peace they made this realization and it's, it's harmony and this is the um six of cups i felt like a, a i felt like it was going to be a um, reconciliation this person wants to reconcile with you really bad as men and women they feel like you know they've done wrong they want to get back with you because it's divinely ordered you give them peace and now they realize they want to be in an alignment because man a woman could have been a fuck boy they could have been a fuck boy and a fuck girl and they realize um at the end of the day this is not what they want to do they could have been prince chiming and playboys and feisty and um temperamental and um and um um impatient and 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 um oh god my thing dropped um it's on my tip i have to say it with this person um i can't think but um, when you when you um, impulsive, this person was impulsive to make those quick decisions, being charming, but they were very passionate, passionate, and they became they could become volatile, and they're hard to settle down, um, and um, they may have a fear of rejection. They could get very very excited, and they could be very risk taking people and when they when they did this to you they were operating out of the impulsiveness i'm not gonna be with him i'm not gonna be with her and you know and they're not good enough for me and then they they have a lot of regret they i just feel like they have a lot of regret and now they want to bring you look at that now they want to bring you the couple love but they still idealistic they need to be grounded then they realize that because they had a choice to pick between two people and i feel like they stayed with low vibration or they picked somebody else over you but it wasn't divinely ordered and you both got this really deep deep connection it's a telepathic connection and it's divinely ordered. These are saying the same thing. This is a twin flame love connection and you got the two of cups. So the love is there. The mutual love is there. And they realize that you are very caring, loving, compassionate, forgiving. You know, this is the queen of cups and they were thinking out their head, right? 
out their head <laughs> and they were in that devil energy and that mean spirit or they just wanted to cut you off or they wanted friends with benefits or less or something like that and then they were juggling you and they caused you some conflict and chaos and I feel like you guys could have been and they could have talked about you and they, I feel like they have a sense of guilt but now they're trying to stand their ground from and pushing these outside people back to have a lot to say because I feel like they could have been very very undecisive and I think this man or woman you're asking about is in their emperor energy now they finally grew up out of this they finally grew up they want to make a stand they want to be stable they, they're very stable minded now you know what i mean they, they've taken a leadership role because i feel like they were followers and they feel like that you can benefit from them right some of them are very very lucrative very very well, wealthy or they're destined to um create generational wealth and they want you to be a part of their life their community and this is the sword of truth and we're going to end it like this because you're going on with your life you're going to do you you're going to go on with your life this is the sword of truth they got a clear understanding now they're not living in fantasy and reality They've, they have cutting a lot of people out they're in a transition in their life. This is beautiful. This ended up being a twin flame pal, a two cup soulmate pal, a, um, a telepathic deep connection um, pal that's just absolutely beautiful. And it talks about choosing wisely and they didn't choose wisely. They were very um, judgmental. And then they found out, you know what I mean? You were the real deal. Anytime you want to come back to your twin flame, right? And to your two of cups, that's the real deal. But I don't think this person knew that or felt that, or they could have just been operating out of ego, whatever the devil is being bad enough to do, being just mean spirit, gaslighting you or whatever, or just being hateful or playing you and playing games and cheating and lying, betrayal, you know, or just wanting sex. And they found out that you, you were the real deal and they shouldn't have done that to you. Later.